Hi there, Interghost here, and guess what? It's the end of September, so time for another monthly pickup video. Interghost is at the carpool. He's picking out games to show to you. He really likes to play on his view. And if you think you've got a high score, well, that's what Retro Records is for. Some team aren't living anymore Here but all the dudes are singing out of tune It's a friendly YouTube host since a Yeah, so where's that month gone? Um, these videos just come around so quickly I decided a little while ago that I was going to stop doing weekly pickup videos and do monthly ones so that they weren't so many of the same thing going out time and again I've got this I've got this and uh, yeah now I've changed to monthly it just seems to fly by um, but I have picked up a few things in this month uh, mainly switch games again but this time I've got some Game Boy and Game Boy Color games which I picked up uh, a couple of books not many and a few DVDs and um, Blu-rays so yeah, first of all, let's just get the books out of the way. Uh, thanks, Shocks, for letting me know that I inspired you to uh, buy a book the other day. And if you haven't seen his video, go and check that out. But I've been picking up these uh, Twisted Dark books and it inspired Shocks to um, get the first volume, which I think he's enjoying. So I'm on volume, I finished volume five now. I think there's one more left to get, but it's a bit expensive at the moment, so I'm gonna wait for that to go down on Amazon. Um, picked up volume 4 which was £5 on Amazon, uh, not too bad. Like I said before, these books aren't amazing but they're, they're worth a read. Uh, volume 5, that was £10. I think volume 6 is like 15 at the moment so I'm going to wait for that one to drop. Now by the same author, uh, he does Twisted Dark which is obviously stories of a dark nature and he also brought out a Twisted Light, which is still twisted stories. Um, they got strange endings or strange meanings to them, but it's not so dark as the other ones. Um, that one only cost me one pound sixty-two on eBay, and um, the funny thing is, it's even signed, not to me, but signed by the author inside there. Um, to Matt and Mimi, have a twisted time. So yeah. So for £1.62, not as good as the other ones, but it's worth reading and I do like the fact that this one's all in colour, which is uh, a bit different because the other two are all in black and white. So that's more Twisted Books. And then this one I picked up from Charity Shop for 50p, I think it was, and uh, it's The Book Thief. Now the reason I got this is because I watched the film quite recently and uh, it quite inspired me to want to read the the book. It's about a young girl who lives through World War II. It's narrated by Def and um, it's about her and they're hiding a, um, a Jewish lad in the basement and um, yeah it's the story of what happens to her and her family. So quite interested to see what the book is like compared to the film. I think it probably make quite an interesting story. So let's do Game Boy games next. Now recently there's been a new store opened up, retro gaming store, here in Poole in Dorset, um, which is near to Bournemouth if you don't know where that is, and um, yeah, it's called Insanity Games if you want to look it up when you're in the area, and they, they've they just opened and they've got some quite good prices on their games, better than most retail places, their prices are sort of eBay-ish range or slightly lower which is always a bonus so I went down there I had a look at their Game Boy games because I still sort of collect Game Boy when I can and they're a really easy um, quite cheap alternative to retro gaming these days and uh, they're easy to store as well I did pick up 25 empty Game Boy cases I haven't got them on me now that was only five pounds for all 25 so that was a bargain uh, I picked up a few original Game Boy games. Now these aren't anything amazing, but they're just ones I'm missing from the collection. So I got a fellow, which was two pounds. We got Ultra Quaroff, 
Orif, however you say that, that was £2. We got Waterworld, which I thought was going to be absolute rubbish, but it actually turns out it's, it's not too bad. And that one was £4, so yeah, not too bad still. And finally, Jungle Book. Now I picked this one up just because I didn't have it, and I think that was £6, yeah, £6. So, all of those for 14 quid, which is not bad for retro games. And then I got some Game Boy Color games, a few on the um, see-through carts and a couple of the black cart ones. Now I've got Rugrats, um, what's that, Time Travelers, but I've actually got that, so I've got double of that now, but it's only £2, so not too bad. Uh, cool Hand, which is a card game, nothing special, but again, one I needed. Uh, that was only £2. Ants Racing, £2. Alpha Team Lego game, and that was £4. And finally, Crazy Bikers, Bikers? Yeah, Crazy Bikers, uh, £2. So, yeah. All very cheap, all nice uh, games to bulk out the Game Boy collection there. And I, like I said, the, the prices can't be sniffed at. So before I go on to the Switch games, I'll just show you a few DVDs I'm picking up. Now I've been picking up a few DVDs and I've also got Blu-ray there um, recently because in charity shops you can get these for like 50p to a pound each, which is just crazy money for a film. Um, I know people don't want them in their collection anymore, they take up too much space, you can get them on download service. Now the reason I'm getting them is because, yeah you can get them on like Netflix and that sort of thing, but they only stay for a certain time and then they disappear again. I like having the physical media like a lot of us do. So what I've done is, with all my DVDs, I've taken them all out of the cases and I keep them in like uh, storage boxes which hold like hundreds of CDs and they're all in alphabetical order so they're easy to find I can just open up a box like um, all the A films flick through find the film I want get that out and I keep all the boxes uh, in cardboard boxes up in the loft out of the way so they're, they're not there they're not taking up any space down here and uh, I've got all of those movies then I use my letterboxed um, review account to keep list of all the, the DVDs I've got so I can just flick through the through the list of films I've got, so it's like flicking through Amazon or um, Netflix, find what movie I want, go to the correct um, A to Z box, open it up, take out the film I want, so it's really easy. And that is why I'm buying them, because they're super cheap. Now the only Blu-ray I got, this was from CEX, I think it was, yeah, for £1.50 and it's Prometheus. Now this is the prequel to Alien, and the reason I got this one is uh, because I remember watching it back in the day when it first came out and I really didn't like it. So I thought I'm going to give it another go. I've re-watched the original four Alien films which I think are still really good. I think number three is probably one of my favourite ones now. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like that one but I think that's a really cool film. Uh, four is absolutely trash, don't bother, bother even watching that one. Um, and then I watched this. And yeah, re-watching it, I found it a lot better. It's not as good as the Alien films, but it sort of leads on to the first one, the first Alien, and uh, yeah, some good effects. The story's a bit silly, but it's well worth a watch, and the visuals are really cool in it. This one is another one I bought from CEX. Now this one was four pounds, I think it was. No, six pounds, sorry. Now the only reason I paid that much for the movie is because this is one of my favourite films of, was it last year it came out or early this year? And uh, it's absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen this film, it's an easy five star movie. Um, the visuals in it and the way it's filmed is really, really clever. And um, if you haven't seen it, watch it. Well worth buying. Now the rest of these are all from the charity shop. They're all like sort of 50p or a pound. Um, first one is The Gate. Now this was a classic 80s horror film from when I was a kid and uh, the box art is just amazing on that and I just wanted to watch it again to see how terrible it was and yeah it's not that great 
but for like whatever 50p it was worth picking up to re-watch and enjoy again. Uh, I got The Predator. Uh, the reason I picked this one up is because I know I've seen this but I can't remember anything about it. I do like the original Predator film so again like Prometheus I'll probably go back and watch the original Predators and then give this one a watch to see what it's like. And then finally I've bought, bought a load of um, 007 films. I've got most of them and I think this pretty much, I think I'm only missing one or two now. Like I said for like 50p each, just picking them all up again so that I've got the whole collection on a Majesty's Secret Service, Doctor No, Diamonds Are Forever, Golden Eye, and Tomorrow Never Dies. So there we go, that was all the movies I got. Now finally on to the Nintendo Switch games which you all know I'm a big fan of nowadays and I've got two, four, seven of them. So the first one I got now this is quite funny. Now this one is Ledger Suit Larry Wet Dreams Don't Dry. <laughs> now this is a sequel to the original Larry games, the point and click adventures and it sort of follows on from the first one really um, because you go back to Lefty's Bar which is the main area in the first Larry game if you've ever played any of them and these games were huge back in the day and I just saw this and I didn't even know it had been made. Um, it's not made by the original writer, that's the only downside. Although it does use sort of like the original locations, character, and the humour is the same as what it used to be. Um, some recent uh, Legend of Larry games have been really crap and um, aren't worth playing, but this one hails back to the original. And if you like the old Larry games, I'd say pick this one up. It is quite funny. Yeah, it's worth worth play. Um, so halfway through it, once I've completed it, I'll do a uh, finisher. Next one is this is a game that I've been looking for for a while. Uh, I think it's like fifty. Yeah, this one was fifty five pounds. Now I've been trying to pick this one up for a reasonable price recently. I played the uh, Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap um, back along. I've done a finisher video on that, and that is one of my favourite games on the Switch. And this is another sort of remake, uh, redesign of the classic Wonder Boy games. This one is Monster Boy. And it only came out in the US. And this game goes between 60 70 pounds normally on eBay. Uh, so when I saw this for Buy It Now for 55 pounds, including postage, I uh, snapped it up. I've not played it yet. Um, it does have the stickers inside. And yeah, I'm really excited to play that one. Next one, this one is a game I got from Insanity Games and it was only £25. Now the reason I got this was because I went down and I traded in a few things and I picked this up and I was looking at it and the guy in the shop said it's a it's a quite interesting game, it plays well and it's in the same sort of design as uh, Mario Odyssey and I like that game and I thought yeah I like platformers, I like collect em ups and cartoony style, style games so I'm going to give that one a go not played it yet. Uh, again from Insanity Games. Um, these were both brand new as well, they were sealed but I've obviously taken them out of the packets. Uh, this one was only £15 and it's Project High Rise Architects Edition. Now I like sim games, I like uh, building games so I thought I'd give this one a go, see what it's like. It was only £15, brand new, so I thought can't really go wrong. I think on Amazon it goes for about 20 so I thought support the shop and also get a game for cheaper than what it normally goes for. Uh, next one is Shovel Knight. Now I've swapped this online on my Facebook group and this I swapped for Northguard. Um, that was a game I spoke about last month. Now the reason I didn't like that is because the, uh, the text on it was far too small to read what was going on and somebody was swapping uh, Shovel Knight which I've never played but loads of people go on about how good it is. And I thought, yeah, it'd be silly not to pick this one up, so I swapped it. And yeah, looking forward to playing that one. This one was Saturday Morning RPG, and I swapped this one for City Skylines, which is a um, like a SimCity type game. Now the reason I got rid of that one is because it was just too fiddly. Um, you run out of money too easy. Uh, it wasn't as fun as it could have been. So. Saturday Morning RPG, this is a game I've got on Steam and I played it for a little bit and I thought it was quite interesting 
but I'm not really a PC gamer so I thought get it on the Switch and I'll be able to play it, play it properly this is a limited run game um, so I thought yeah pick that one up and um, it's bound to become rarer in the future so that's a really good one to have a look at now finally I got uh, Hard West now this is the collector's box edition I got this one from eBay and it was £38 which I thought was quite a a bargain. I'm not going to open it all up because I'll probably make another video on here but there's some extra bits and pieces in there. This is a sort of XCOM type game where you um, take it in turns to move you and then the enemies and you have to shoot each other but it's set in the uh, Wild West and there's zombies in it so yeah I'll probably do an unboxing of that at some point. So there we go that's all the pickups I got for this month of September. Um, quite a lot there, a little bit varied this time and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think of any of those things down below in the comments and uh, yeah I'd like to hear what, what you got to say. Remember to thumb up the video if you liked it, thumb it down if you didn't and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.